Here at Outland, we wanted to create a workspace that would appeal to the diverse set of data consumers that exist out in the world. If I jump into Discover All Assets here, I will immediately be greeted by all of the assets that we have crawled into this instance of Outland whether they're BigQuery tables, Snowflake tables, or dashboards and reports across all of our BI and analytics layers. But if I'm someone that works in legal, I might not be interested in all of the technical metadata that you see up on the screen. And in fact, I might rather have an experience that is really dialed down and better tailored to the work that I do. All I have to do is switch my persona to that of someone in legal. The environments will be personalized to this particular function, and they will find it much easier to search and discover the data assets that they're looking for and be able to continue with their work. One of our customers, HelloFresh, recently came to us and said that they had two failed data catalog attempts in the past, and the reason was because it wasn't personalized to the end users that were utilizing the platform. So therefore, there was no enrichment, and therefore, there was no additional adoption. When they came to Outland, they were surprised to see that they had the ability to personalize the experience for their diverse set of end users, and they found that they were able to drive adoption across their business very broadly. At Outland, we pioneered something that we call active metadata, and this brings the important contextual metadata directly into the tools that your teams use today. So here we are in a Tableau dashboard, and I might have a concern around a particular metric that I'm seeing up on the screen. All your data consumers have to do is click on the small Atlin icon on the bottom right corner of the screen, and they'll be greeted with our Atlin Chrome extension or companion sidebar. I will immediately be notified that there seems to be some data quality issue occurring against this particular dashboard. And if I have any questions around how we're defining terms, such as percent of digital orders, all I have to do is hover over top of this term, and I will immediately be greeted with a description. One of our customers, Elastic, utilizes this proactive data issue alerting to inform their business of underlying data quality issues before they make a mistake. Now, if I wanted to triage this particular data quality issue, all I have to do is open up the asset in Atlin and work back through the lineage graph. I'll jump into lineage here. And for those of you that know Tableau, knows that dashboards and reports are built on different workbooks. All I have to do is click this one button to see exactly where these data comes from. I can work my way back into Snowflake and what do I find? I find a data quality issue occurring on this table in Snowflake. I can click on it, read a little bit more about it, and if I like, I can actually open up a line of communication with a colleague, or I can even open up a ticket directly against this particular asset in question. But active metadata doesn't only exist in BI tools. We can also bring it directly into Slack. I might have a question such as, how exactly are we defining a particular term, like maybe customer acquisition cost? After a few seconds, Atlin will provide to me a glossary term called customer acquisition cost directly in Slack. All I have to do is click on it, and it will open the term directly in the Atlin Web UI. Once in the Atlin Web UI, I can review the term, how we're defining it, ownership structure, even the equations that we're using to calculate this. But the power really comes in when we connect the semantic layer with the underlying data layer via linked assets. All I have to do is review the queries that we have already established or associated with this particular term. And guess what? I can open one of them up and I can run them directly in the outlet IDE that we call insights. Once here, I can query Snowflake utilizing my own personal credentials, click run, and I will be greeted with our customer acquisition cost. But Atlin isn't just made for data consumers. We also provide capabilities for our governance and stewards as well. If we jump into playbooks, we have the ability to bulk update utilizing our rule-based automation engine. For example, we can find and discover assets that may contain sensitive data. Here, we set a few parameterized filters, search for any sensitive data across our ecosystem based off of the contextual metadata associated with the columns and tag them with PII. One of our customers, Tide, actually reduced their PII tagging effort from 50 days down to just five hours utilizing Apple's playbooks. We hope this was a valuable tour of our product and there's a lot more where that came from.